Hey everyone, Sir Loina Beef here, and welcome back to Court Farm. So, if you remember in our uh, last episode here, we were having a little bit of trouble getting the uh, manure spreader in there to try to gather that up. Well, uh, off camera, I went ahead and scooped it all up. So, that's uh, what we got there. We got 9,873 liters, and we're going to go ahead and try to spread this on the uh, field 54 there that we just um, what you call it that we just planted I don't know if it's going to cover the whole thing but we'll we'll get what we can there's the field then this should be ready to harvest hopefully next month Let's see what we got here. So first thing we want to go ahead, put that down, turn that on. We got to open this. All right, and there we go. So I don't know how much or how like how fast this is going to go here. I've actually never really used manure to. Um, do any kind of fertilizing or anything like that just because I've never really had cows that much unfortunately it does look like it's going through it pretty quick so probably not going to be able to get this whole field fertilized but that's that's okay if we need to come in with the um, you know I wonder if we can use slurry to kind of top off the the spots that we that we missed and actually per the normal having to get the <laughs> the timer running there yeah I don't even think we're gonna make the headland Yeah, definitely not going to make the headland. Alright, well, at least it's cleaned out in the, uh, from the, uh, cow barn. And, uh, let's see if we can, <laughs> we'll use a little bit of both here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab our, uh, slurry spreader and see if we can finish the job with that. Definitely looking forward to getting to getting that harvested here and having a doing a little bit something different. great demand I highly doubt it's gonna be anything that we have but let's take a look uh, where is here it is uh, do, 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 do. Uh, where uh, do, do, do. No, it's not that one uh, let's see it's gonna be some kind of production uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, there it is. Is it? Yep, grape juice. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, that's fine. And I guess we'll just tuck this back in the slurry pit over there, or not slurry pit, but um, what you call it, silage pit, until we're gonna be using that on our probably this episode hopefully if that uh, corn's ready to go next month with which I think it will be all right so we got that whoops wrong thing there we go now let's go grab the slurry spreader Ooh. 
You'd think a little gas can like that wouldn't uh, throw a how many pun uh, ton <laughs> tractor here, but I guess so. All right. Looks like it needs to be filled up a little bit. We should still have plenty. Oh. Wrong button. Oh, and it's turning it on. Something weird about this slurry spread. Every time you pick it up, it just turns it on for some reason. And apparently we're filling water again. Here we go. And it's kind of weird how that works. It's charging us for water, but it's not going into anything, so I don't know where it's going. Oh, and the dirt. That's one thing that I was going to do. I was going to see if it makes any difference with this mud if we come down here and put our dirt to normal. Because it just seems like things are getting dirty way too fast. Mm -hmm. Which normally I like because it's fun having a, you know, looking like the tractors are actually getting used. But with the... Um, with the mud mod it's it's just like instant it's a little too fast all right let's see what we can do here with this well it looks like that works too i have a feeling this is going to be a lot longer though It actually looks like it's doing better than the manure because where we were going over or that just might be putting too much on I don't know because again that's something that's always kind of confused me right it's the color of like the nitrogen and everything is it per like the the crop so like even if it's orange or red or whatever it doesn't matter if that's all the crop requires then it's fine right I just see the the red and or the orange and I'm like oh well, that's that's bad it's it's orange or yellow it's not green right green's good but I've said it a dozen times so we've already heard that talk before but let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to get this finished up here because it looks like this is going to take a little while here going back and forth. And uh, I'll bring you back as soon as we've got this sorted out. So I will see you soon. Hey everyone, we're back and uh, we're on our way out to the field now with the fertilizer spreader. Uh, because there was something I noticed here, which I'll show you in just a minute when we get on the field here and there we go it zooms in and you'll notice I, this is where I noticed it the first time this little green line that was kind of going down here so I went over the manure with the uh, with the slurry and sure enough it's green down here so I was like well, what that's what's that about and we look here and where the manure was it still says the nitrogen is bad we look up here it still says the nitrogen is bad but if we come over here where the manure and the slurry was look at that it shows that it's okay and good now maybe not perfect but definitely shows that it is a lot better so it looks like from what i can tell anyways that when you're spreading slurry or uh, manure whichever have you it looks like it's just kind of like a a base coat if you will not really what you'd want to do for the full harvest or for the full fertilization of the crop so here we are with the fertilizer spreader to come out here and go over all of this again 
and look at that it's going all green and I'm also hoping here probably gonna have to refill um, but I'm, maybe not but that's what I was also hoping that since we went ahead and used all of that maybe this doesn't get the field fully fertilized um, but this will cut down on our cost of fertilizer at least um, because it's not going to have to it's not going to have to use as much we are going to have to go in the neighbor's crop a little bit there so there we go look at that and now if we take a look at this look at that perfect expected yield 123% so that extra 2%, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe is rolling. Um, but I mean, we're already over 120%, so I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother with that, <laughs> to be honest with you. All right, and then this is only gonna take a a minute or two here because we're just going to do this and maybe two more passes all right yeah this is definitely getting it a lot better here go off the edge here a little bit too Makes me if we want makes me wonder if we drive along the edge of this field here. Is that showing perfect? Oh, well, no, it shows perfect through the whole thing. Yeah, this one's only at 120, 160. Okay, so that's why. That's why it's a little yellow over there. So now this field has had, well, with the exception of liquid fertilizer, uh, has had every single type of fertilizer put on there. <laughs> we've had manure, we've had slurry, and now we've had regular solid fertilizer, I guess, rather. Uh, let's see, I'm going to try to narrow this down a little bit here. Then open it back up here. I missed a couple spots, that's okay. All right, and there we go. Perfectly fertilized. All right, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward a month here uh, because as far as planting, I know we still have our larger field here, uh, 57 to plant because that's harvested. Uh, but let's see, for our planting season, right now we could only do canola. So I think I'm going to hold off onto that. Um, maybe put some linseed in there. I know we could do field beans, but we'd have to wait all the way to, to next year to do that. Um, so I'm thinking maybe we put some, put some linseed in there so we can hold off on that for now. And oh, we're just looking at it, and yeah, looks like corn is going to be next month. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is fast forward it on to next month, and we're going to get started on that corn harvest. So I will see you soon once we're ready for that. All right, and we're back here, and as you can see, the corn is ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and get this harvested up here, but the first thing that we're going to need to do 
is we're going to need to get ourselves, uh, let's see, of course there's nothing in the sales. We're going to have to get ourselves a forage harvester. Now, obviously we don't have the money to buy one. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and lease one of these for now. I know it's going to be a ton of money for what we're getting, especially since we're not really making money from this because we're just putting it into to silage for the cows, but the cows definitely make us a lot of money. So it's kind of spending money to make money in a kind of a weird way. But I'm thinking we go with this one here. I know it is one of the more expensive ones, but yeah, we could go New Holland. That's even more expensive. I just want to, I mean, we have Fent, we have Class or Kloss. Only two options to just to get something a little bit different is either the Crone or this one, and this is the cheaper of the of these three. So let me go ahead and go with this one. Don't really need to change much here. We'll do some wide tires. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I should. Uh, this should be good. So we'll go ahead and lease that, and then we'll get. Uh, we're going to buy one of these so we can get a little bit more of that. And let's see, we just got the base one, which is oh, still 770 horsepower. Uh, so it looks like it can handle all of these. Let's see. What's the difference in the prices here? That's going to be 6,000. That's going to be 5,000. So it's an extra 1,000 for, for this one. So we'll just go with this one. Okay, and then we're going to need some kind of trailer here for this because the one that we got is not really going to cut it. Um, uh, what do we have here? What's good? Thinking this one is probably going to be their best bet. Another 4,000. All right. So that's our setup there, it looks like. All right. So let's get over here. First things first, we're going to try to get over here to fill up on silage additive because this stuff really does, in my opinion, add a lot more than if you're not using it. So I definitely think it's worth every penny there. And even after releasing all this, we're still over $100,000, so we're still doing good. Okay, we'll hook this up here. There we go. And then now, this is going to be an interesting trip back. <laughs> right, let's see. Should be able to... Uh, we can't lower this one. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess not. Usually you can lower the kind of the, the front of it there. Uh, it's going to be on its back wheels. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Definitely a tight squeeze here. Might have gotten some low. Might have gotten something a little too big. <laughs> because now we're getting stuck in a tree. Okay. There we go. All right, and then let's... There we go. Makes me wonder how this is going to navigate <laughs> in the field. All right, let's get this out of here. Oh, if we can. Yeah, it seems to turn pretty well. A pretty good turn. 
get our hazards on. All right, we're going to get this over to the field, and I will see you once we're there. See you soon. All right, here we are back at the farms, and also you can see our alfalfa is ready to be uh, harvested again there, so we got that as well to look forward to. But this is the first thing on the agenda, so let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And instead of trying to make some goofy turn here, I think our best bet is just going to be to squeeze through here. Alright, here we go. And I'm just going to go straight from here. Let's get the pipeline done. Alright, and turn those off. Let's see how this goes. And I think what I'm going to do here, um, just because of trans the way the forage harvester works and everything, um, I think we're just probably, once we get to the point to where it's full, I'm just going to drop the trailer, bring one of the tractors out here and use it to uh, haul it back and forth to the, to the silage pit. But it looks like it is filling up pretty quick here, so that's good. Already got 10,000 liters. Okay, here's the only part I'm worried about though, is kind of taking these corners and the crop destruction, that's going to probably mess it up a little bit on the ends but not really much we can do about it looks like this uh, harvester is handling it uh, pretty well though this is just chugging right through it this thing's, this thing's awesome do a little interior view here Just to see a corn. Mm, yeah, it's cutting a little bit off, but it's like was like two stalks that it, that it knocked down. I don't think that's really gonna affect us too much. All right, and there we go, we're full. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. And back up here drop that all right let's go ahead and grab the fin I know we used the uh, Lamborghini to begin the video with but well we'll keep it green for the end here and actually first things first because we're not gonna be able to put this silage anywhere is we gotta move these out of here. We gotta find new homes. Probably not the best spot for the bales because of the, the cows and everything and having to get the feed mixer, but we can, uh, we can sort that out later.
All right, there we go. Everything's put away there. And can I pick this thing up by hand? It feels like this is in the way. No, it is too heavy. Okay. All right. You just leave it there. Ooh, and we got a tight fit here. All right, so we're definitely not gonna try to squeeze the trailer through here. We're just gonna cut through the hedge. Try to get it in the middle here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start emptying it. Until it won't empty anymore. I'm just going to pull forward and kind of empty it this way. So that way it'll be easy to grab when we uh, compact it all down. So I'm gonna go ahead and now that you've seen kind of how we're gonna be doing this and went the wrong way, I'm gonna have to drive all the way around. All right, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll bring you back once we've got this uh, field harvested. We'll see what, uh, how much silo or uh, chaff we end up here. So uh, see you soon. All right, everyone, and we're back. So we got this, uh, field cleared up that's all harvested up here this is the last uh, trailer load here and while we were gone here I also ran up to the store and got a um, like a silo uh, like a silage uh, you can see it over there in the distance uh, kind of one of those uh, compacting uh, rollers so we can go ahead and compact this down. You see we're getting pretty full up to the front here. And you see, you should be able to get this in there, no problem. There it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and move this out of the way. Had the Lamborghini refueling here because it was running low after going up to the store. All right, and we got the heavier weight that we had already purchased on the front there to kind of give us some more weight. Let's unfold this. That might be a tough uh, incline to get up here. I was trying to get that pushed back in the corner, but it doesn't look like that's going to work. We need to get rid of that thing. Can we sell that actually from our menu? Because we do not need that at all anymore. Sure enough, we can. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and try to compact this down here. See what we can do. No, that's not good. Oh, I 
guess what we can do with this tractor. Uh, let's see. Let's move that out of the way. I'm gonna see if I can uh, push it over that ledge. go perfect now we just need to come the power okay now this one's in the way all right <laughs> let's not do that again let's try to get this leveled out here first before we try to go over the edge. And it looks like we got 210,000 liters, so that's good. It looks like I'm getting that stuck on the edge there. Here we go. I'm going to try something different here. Try going this way. It would help if we put that down. This is definitely a tedious process, isn't it? <laughs> Almost there, though. I want to get this finished before we ended the video here. This was kind of the last thing I wanted to do. Didn't think it would uh, take quite so long. But it does seem like it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to cut this out. We're going to fast forward here a little bit. I'll see you when this is finished. All right. And here we are. <laughs> Finally. 100%. All right. And it looks like we did lose a bit out the front there. But that's fine. Go ahead and throw that on there. That's not too bad. All right. Well, that's going to be the episode for today. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the content. Have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.